Welcome back to Guitar Breakdowns. Today I'm doing Pine Grove's Intrepid, a uh, great song and a whole bunch of tweaked out chords. Uh, it's in standard tuning and let's get into it. Uh, so the first of the tweaked out chords that happen in this song is, I don't even know what to call this chord because it's beyond me, but what it is, you've got an open low E, an open A, second fret on the D, fourth fret on the G, fourth fret on the B, and hope open high E. And he plays kind of loosely with his fingers. It's sort of a cross between strumming and picking notes, but he's essentially playing the lower notes with his thumb, and then pulling up with his finger. It's all in kind of a waltzy, I think like a 6-8 timing. Second chord is a B7, which is second fret on the A string, first fret on the D, second fret on the G, and then open B and E. And third chord is a F sharp minor 7. So you're barring all the way across the second fret with your pointer finger and then playing the fourth fret on the A string. And then back to the B7 chord. The second time round playing this, uh, goes back to the first chord but it's almost, it's more finger picked this time. And then into the B7. Then the third time round, the first chord is an A sus2, so it's like an A chord, but you're not playing the B string, so instead of that, it's that. And the second chord is a, is a B sort of power chord with the open uh, B and E strings, but you're also fretting the second fret on the low E. So I'd play those through for you. And then it goes into the F sharp minor seven again, but this time a bit more staccato. B seven. And then does all of that again. For the midsection of the song, it starts off with the guitar on its own playing this first chord that you heard at the beginning of the song, but really finger picked. And I think the finger picking pattern is doing uh, the low E, then the D string, then the G string with your thumb. And then you come up the thinner strings with your finger. A string is played there, sometimes I think it's, it is almost accidentally on purpose played. Then when the drums kick in you have these two hits on uh, a standard E minor chord, it's kind of a relief to have a normal chord in there. And then the midsection really kicks off and you, the two chords that are being played are, it's an F major seven, I believe it's called. So that is fifth fret on the low E, seventh fret on the A, sixth fret on the D. And the other chord that's played is an E major, but it's played kind of almost like how a piano would play a chord, which is this low E open, 
7th fret on the A, 6th fret on the D, and 4th fret on the G. And it's played. that slowly for you so you can get a bit of an idea of the timing. So for the ending of the song, we go back to what was at the beginning of the song, almost bookending this midsection. So it starts off with the A sus two version. This time round, A sus two. Goes this chord that you play before, this B shaped chord, play it two frets higher and then slide down to the B. So I'll play that through. I'll play the entire section coming out of the mid section for you to give you some context. So we find that useful, uh, a lot of nonsense going on in there, but it's so lovely. And like this, subscribe, uh, give me some comments, ask me what other songs you'd like me to do, and I'll see you on the next one.